Okay, so two codes came up. Let's see if I can focus in on it. Oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor two. That's the firewall bottom one. And actually, that's all that's saying, bank one, sensor two. Okay, so we can do that by confirming it. We go here, we're going to run a uh, diagnostic, I'm sorry, data stream. Uh, view data, okay, and then turn the car back on. And what I'm looking for is going to be O2 sensor function. There we go. Three and four. Okay, so your top two, which is uh, sensor one, bank one, should always be sensor one, sensor two, bank one. Should be cleaner than the sensor two, bank two, sensor one, bank two, after the catalytic converter. So as we see, O2 S11, that's sensor one, bank one, is reading 2.3, 2.25. And sensor one, bank two, which is after the catalytic converter, is reading 2.7. So it's actually dirtier coming out than it is going in. Sensor two, bank one, Okay, reading 6, 2, 2 is reading 4, so that one's actually working properly. So with the 3.5 liter, there's the two cats, the front one, which is actually bank 2, and the back one, which is bank 1. So what I am probably going to do, so I'm probably going to re remove the, the flex pipe all the way back to there, take that completely out. Now I had these bolts all off when I replaced the motor, so they shouldn't be too bad getting everything back off. But why take a chance and just lube everything up with the WD or lubricant of your choice? You can see here I had to actually cut one out before because that broke. So lube it all up first, let it sit, and then go to town. And on mine, it's just a 14. On your front down pipe bolts, you have a 12 millimeter going through and a 13 millimeter nut. So it's a little bit different than the ones that were over here on your back pipe. After getting all the bolts out, what I like to do is just take a small crowbar and shove it in to get it over that one right there. There we go. So now, from there, all we have to do is pull it right out of this socket and everything should just pop off. I might go ahead and disconnect these. These two are uh, 14 mils. Disconnect them too so we get the flex pipe available. Disconnected that and yeah, we're we're ready to take that off. Alright, as soon as I released the tension on the flex pipe, the whole thing just you know fell. So basically from there, as long as it's nice and cool, you just take it. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to squirt a little lube on it. There we go. And now, this slides right out. Ugh. Now, it gives us the perfect access to both cats, number two and number one. So, all the heat shield's gonna have to come off next. Yeah, and I'll have to disconnect the, the wiring, but almost there. Okay, so you have two heat shields that go around your catalytic converter. One is the bottom one, 
it's a two little 10 millimeters, one on the left, one on the right, and I just push it out of the way. The top one is eight millimeters, and it's kind of hard to take off because of the uh, O2 sensor that's in the top of it. So when you're looking for your sensor one, bank one, bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor, just remember that your top ones are not green. So don't be mistaken by this one right there. That one has a green bottom to it. Let me see right there, see the green bottom? That's not your O2. So what you wanna do, you come back over here, and see that one way down in there tucked? That one is your top O2 sensor. Just pull that straight up and the O2 sensor will release. Once you remove your O2 sensor, you can take that top heat shield completely off. And I'm having trouble getting off these two 14s, one and two. So I'm just gonna take the whole header off or the manifold off and then take it off and drop it all down as, as one. Hopefully, it's not gonna hit nothing. But even if it does hit something, I'm gonna get it dropped down far enough where I can have better access to these 14 mils. All right, so I did have to take my manifold completely down just to get me the leeway I need for the top bolts. I couldn't get it from up top. I had to drop it down to get it far enough down so I can hit it from the side through here where the tire is. And once I did that, I was able to get it completely off. And here it is here. Doesn't look too bad, it really doesn't. So, let me go get the other one and start putting it all back together. All right, you can see I used a half inch bolt, inch and a half long to secure the back. Everything's tightened down now, the seal is done. I noticed my, my new O2 sensor pigtails are three times, three times as long as the old ones. Now I just gotta put the heat shield back on the top, heat shield back on the bottom, and move on to the front. Now in the front, I did have to take the manifold off because one of the bolts broke and I had to drill it out as you can see, you know, that one right there, I had to uh, drill out and just put something in there to fill the void. But other than that, I uh, didn't have any other issues. And the old one that came out, was here. You can actually see it was clogged up to the new one. So uh, I think I found out why I was getting crappy gas mileage. Once you ever get everything tightened back down, you do your one last thing is put on your exhaust and then we go upstairs or we go back into the car. And then from there, we're gonna clear the codes and then recheck the O2 sensors. Make sure they're working properly and make sure the catalytic converters are working properly. Okay. So I'm actually in the car about to start clearing the codes. And once the codes are cleared, start it up, test, and see what we have. Codes, I'm going to erase, enter, yes, enter, enter, enter. So last night, after I got done with doing everything, I realized that something was going on. I keep popping a code, and it was a P1015 and closed circuit, yada, yada, yada. Let's see if I can focus in on this. There we go. Okay, yeah, closed loop confirmed, air fuel ratio, bank two, heater one, that's your top one. So, I came back over today to go in the shop, and I found that 
the connector on it had disconnected. So it was barely touching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the codes now that I confirm that it's together good. It popped it really quick after I started it yesterday. And uh, I'm going to find out real quick if it's going to do it again. If it does, I'll just replace the O2 sensor for the third time. Okay, we are clear. Off, back on, and... Nothing yet. That's a real good sign there. Got a data stream. Look at that. It was nines last night. It's now in the three range today. It's still under four. So, I'm happy there. But my upper rear is sitting at six. But the downstream is lower. It's sitting at three where the upper is at six. So, I'm not too worried, too, too worried about that. But I'm definitely happier now than I was last night. I was very discouraged and pissed off last night. So, to me, it's fixed. That's all I can do for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.